Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is playoffs. We start the playoff runs today. Oh, excuse me, this evening. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. We're going to talk about playoffs. Yeah. Playoffs? Yes, we are going to talk about playoffs. And, you know, I want to be fair because people think that I am not a football fan, that I'm not a Cowboy fan, that I'm only a Dak Prescott fan. And, you know, when I say something about somebody else, then they immediately say you're blinded by your desire to see Dak Prescott see to see. And so here's what I want to do, because there seems to me in my mind, there, in my mind, I just want to ask what the hell's going on, because I don't see this. Because they always talk about, you know, whenever they say something good about Dak, they say, but Josh Allen, you know, his arm talent and Josh Allen, I get it. He runs and things like that. He does get, you know, uh, first downs and touchdowns and things like that with his legs. But we're learning that using your legs as a quarterback is not sustainable for a long-term career. You could look at RG3, who came out as a rookie, was a freaking insane that Jalen Hurts last year being able to run the way he was was a difference maker. And then this year, he's banged up all season, and they're not the same team. So longevity-wise, and Lamar Jackson, who it's, it's kind of funny because they talk out of both sides of their neck when they talk about a player. When they go through and they say, well, Dak Prescott, you know, he's not good. He's great in the regular season, but when it comes to postseason, he's not great. He's, he's you know, he's a choker. That's what they say. But then they turn around and they say, Lamar Jackson, oh my God, that guy's incredible. You know, he should be the MVP, but you look at the playoffs, he's one in three in the playoffs when he's actually been able to play in the playoffs because he hasn't been injured. So which is it? We are constantly living on Josh Allen because Josh Allen went to the AFC Championship game in a shootout against Kansas City that he lost like he won the game. And his whole career seems to be living on the hype of that. I feel like it's Al Bundy who talks about playing football for Poke High. <laughs> I scored four touchdowns in, you know, in one game. That's Josh Allen's career. And when you look at this year, I'll give you, give you that he is very talented. When you look at this year at the turnovers, all of a sudden that doesn't mean anything. It does, uh, the, the turn, what happened to turnovers? 18 interceptions. So if you take this, because sometimes a turnover can be a 14-point swing. And I'll give it to you last year. You know, Dak deserved the criticism for the turnovers, even though he had a broken thumb. I don't know what Josh Allen's excuse is. But to be fair, I want you to judge for yourself. So here are all of the interceptions that Josh Allen had this year. Okay? I, let's just watch it. You tell me, is this the best quarter, or a guy who's playing better than Dak Prescott? Just watch. Roland just throws it up. Look, at, not even close to his receiver. Not even close. Okay, here we go again. Josh Allen. Into double coverage, overthrows. Josh Allen. Into double coverage. Josh Allen. I hope you got some, got some time because it's going to take a while. Josh Allen. Now what the overthrows. Now what they'll say is, well, that was just like a punt. That was just like a punt. Josh Allen. Oop. That was a good play. That, that, that was taken away. That one was actually on the money. I'll, I'll give you that one. Josh Allen. Short. Cross the middle. Didn't see the man. Didn't even see him. Rolling out, deflected. Okay, I'll give you that one was deflected. That one's not on him. Boom. Bandit sitting right there.
that one was deflection. So I'll say two of these, you can give him the benefit of the doubt so far. Nope, didn't see the bandit there. Throws it up for grabs. Mm. Wow. You can call that a punt if you want to, but that was a hell of a punt return. Boom. Into double coverage again. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is reckless with the football. You can call me a hater if you want to, but he is literally just throwing the ball up. He is just literally throwing it up. Eighteen interceptions. And this, look at that. Maybe that was miscommunications. I don't know. What the hell was that? What 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 the hell was that? What the hell? Now, I'm sorry. If that were Dak Prescott, if that was Dak Prescott throwing those passes, to, are you kidding me? No, bro, no. See, we have this whole, I, I don't know if it's because Dak Prescott was the fourth round draft pick and Josh Allen is the guy that they anointed as, you know, the next great thing. I, I don't know what it is. But you can't look at that and say that those 18 interceptions didn't cost them some games. Now, Josh Allen, truth in advertising, will have great games. But he'll follow it up with ones that are just ass ass. Um, give you an example. Let's bear with me for a second here. I'm uploading my morning video and uh, I had this on my mind. This is what's crazy about Josh Allen is the inconsistency. So his rating with two interceptions to the Giants, he should have had a third, but it ended up being a touchdown because it was deflected off the, the helmet. 101 rating the week before, 53. Against the Chargers, 104. Against the Cowboys, 89. Against the Chiefs, 68. Against the Eagles, 82. Against the Jets, 108. Against the Broncos, 59. Against the Bengals, 85. Against the Buccaneers, 106. Against the Patriots, 90. Against the Giants, 86. Against the Jaguars, 102. Against the Dolphins, 153. Against the Commanders, 79.9. Raiders, 124. Against the Jets, 62. With a total rating on the season of 92.2. If you want to talk about inconsistency, you just don't know what you're going to get. And I believe... Josh Allen, he finally broke the streak against us, not having interceptions. But take a look, just listen to this. Look at this. October 1st, interception. October 15th, interception. Uh, October 22nd, interception. October 26th, interception. Uh, November 5th, interception. Against the Broncos, November 13th, two interceptions. Against the Jets, November 19th, interception. Against the Eagles, interception. Against the Chief, interception. None against us. And then the Chargers, he has interception. Against the Patriots, he has interception. Against the Dolphins, he has two. You can pretty much guarantee he's going to have an interception a game. You can just bake that into the equation. But somehow, some way, Josh Allen, generational talent, so much better than Dak Prescott. Now, you tell me, after seeing those interceptions, do you believe that Josh Allen is better than Dak Prescott? I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace out.